Hey guys, I'm Fellow Blanks. Welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Adventure. Um, so, from last episode, I did a little bit of research and I looked up as to why maybe I was having problems running Kirby's Adventure on the Retron. And it turns out, even though um, I still say this isn't like a graphical powerhouse on the NES, it is um, some something of a powerhouse. Uh, I'll tell you in one second. First, we're going to need the sword ability. Get rid of these four blocks, but do not get rid of this one right here. Because you're going to need it. Because then you can jump, hit this, get rid of your power before entering the door. And get ready for one of the best powers in the game. Cool. You can run away. That's the UFO. Woo! UFO is the only power that cannot be um, brought from level to level. You lose it when you beat the level. At least I'm pretty sure that's the case, uh, I think, in this game. But yeah, it's, it's four powers in one. So you have uh, Beam if you hit the button really slowly. You have Laser for a little bit more. Then you have Star, and then you have Double Star. I'm fairly certain Double Star is the most powerful thing in the game. If uh, Kirby inhales two enemies at once and then shoots them out, that's Double Star, and I think it's yeah, it's the most powerful thing in the game, I think. Anyways, oh, also, yeah, you just go through water like this. There's not even splash. Um, so yeah, so I was looking it up. And, um, I forget the name of the chip, but basically, the NES, uh, some NES games had specific chips that helped with specific things. Um, and this game had, I forget what it's called, it's like the MC whatever 5, um, and I guess it's the only NES game, uh, that I could see anyways, that actually has that chip. And it's for certain graphical things in this game. I guess one of the things is apparently the bottom screen where it says UFO and Kirby and all that. I guess that's actually a lot harder to do than I thought it would. I thought it was going to be a graphic, but I guess it's an actual, like, it's like an actual, like, separate screen. And yeah, like, I, I didn't realize that. Also, there's parts, uh, and you'll notice this in, in the next world of Butter Bri uh, Butter, Bri Butter Building. Um, there's a specific kind of, like, graphical ability that the game shouldn't be able to, like, pull off that I guess the chip help, helps out with. Anyways, it turns out that Kirby's Adventure is the single largest NES game out there. And I forget the, the size or anything like that, but I didn't know that, and I'm thinking maybe that's why the Retron couldn't really handle it very well. I'm not 100% sure if that's why, or maybe I just got really unlucky. But that's besides the point. I am now playing this on the Switch. Um, I totally forgot that this is available on the NES Online thing, so I was like, cool, I'll actually use the NES Online thing for something because I haven't been using it for anything else. Wow, these guys actually have a little bit of HP. I didn't really realize that. Yeah, in uh, this Kirby game and most uh, Kirby games of this era, uh, most enemies just take one like, they have, like, one HP and they die, and you have a specific amount of hits in this game, six, and then doesn't matter what you hit, that hurts you one point of damage. In Kirby Superstar and then later Kirby games, they started making, like, actual HP-based enemies that have, like, multiple hits, um, and, and different things would take more life off of you. There was, like, a life bar. So let's see if I lose UFO now. Uh, pretty sure you do, but nice. Almost there. Uh, but I like how later Kirby games tend to do in that. Because that just makes more sense to me. Yeah, so you lose UFO, so that's a shame. But we do have a museum up there. Let's go check it out. You'll notice that this hasn't been done. I have less, a lot less lives than last episode. Uh, uh, last, less than last episode because, you know, I, again, started a brand new file. But it's not like I got very far. So we already have fire. We've already seen it before. We have laser. Uh, laser is exactly what you expect. It is a laser. I love how you shoot it out of your hand. I also love that icon. Look at that laser icon. That's gorgeous for the NES. I love it so much. It's a shame it's it's two-tone, or I guess three-tone, because you have, like, the the black slash brownish, and you have, like, the yellow, and then the, like, beige white. Um, whatever. But, yeah, laser's okay. Laser's pretty much what you just have on with UFO. Um, that's what makes the UFO so good, that it, it incorporates, like, so many powers. You do almost anything with it. It's pretty crazy. Laser's okay. Uh, you have to be very specific with it. Um, it's not a power in uh, Kirby's Kirby Superstar. Despite the fact that those laser orbs or whatever are in the game, but they'll just give you beam. Which, I guess, makes sense. Like, Or, no, I think they'll go with plasma. Which I th think is, like, the evolution of, of laser, to be really honest. So, I guess that makes sense. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. Most of the abilities come back in one way or another in this game. Like, there's um, Suplex and Throw are two separate ones, and they just come back as uh, as Backdrop. Or, sorry, there's Backdrop and Throw, and then it comes, in, and it comes back as Suplex, is what I meant to say. There's Parasol, there's Fire, there's, uh, I think it's Rock or Stone in this one, I forgot what it's called. And then we have a new power here, and that's Mike. 
I'm gonna take this guy out fast with my laser beams. Come on, die. Shoot some uh, music notes at me for some reason. That one's gonna hit me. Yeah, that's all I coming. Oh, this gives me Mike. And Mike is just like it is in the other games. Uh, you have three, I believe, uh, shots of Mike, which are full screen crash abilities, except I think they're weaker than crash. I'm not sure. But we're gonna use it right now. Yeah. I don't think you get, like, special animations for two or three. Ah, shit. I'll get rid of Mike, because I really do want to show this. This is what I mean with laser. You can bounce it off like that. I love that. Very cool. It's also considered a fire ability, so you can light things on fire if there's anything you find that has that ability, basically. Like, if you find a wick for a cannon or something like that. I think that's what they're called, wicks. Maybe? I don't know. But yeah, whenever you see slopes, just pew, love that. There's a couple levels that are, like, all slopey and stuff specifically for that. It's very cool. Beam is not considered a fire ability. I believe it would be considered, like, electric ability, like spark. So neither of those can, like, light a cannon on fire. So. It's just cool. I like I like the way they, they think of this stuff. You know what I mean? There's clearly, clearly a lot of thought into um, the powers early on. I find nowadays the new Kirby games, all the powers are just, like... Like, one of the new ones had Doctor Power? Like, what, what does that even mean? And it, it all becomes the same thing. Like, all it's like, oh, hold down, you'll do this type of ability. And, like, almost every new ability has the same, like, area of effect or whatever. So every power is the exact same when you get down to it. Um, and it's just kind of annoying in that sense. Oh, we have a new, like, minigame kind of thing. This is a Colosseum or whatever. Arena. Two fighters go in, but only one will leave. You can get a tomato, an ability for a win. Um, a lot of times you'll get abilities that you can't get um, through museums, and it's just easier for this. Hammer is a good one for this. Um, like, this is just freeze. Who cares? Whatever. You can get freeze. Whatever. Um, but at least it's, like, a place that you can get it really fast if you need it. Um, but, hey, splash. Um... For Hammer, you need Hammer for a lot of the secret exits in this game. Or secret exits. Secret, um... Secret things, basically. And uh, having a way to get Hammer easily is really nice, so... Watch out, Parasols will come after you, and it's dangerous. They explode, because that's what Parasols do in Kirby's Dreamland. They explode for some reason. Anything over there? Oh, there's a pep. I don't need a pep. We got some wheel over here, but I'm gonna see if I can get a mix. Oh, yeah, there we go. High jump. That's a nice one. You do not see high jump anymore. You see it in some of the sport games, but I like high jump. You go, Pew! You're like invincible when you fly. Like, Pew! oh no, I didn't do it. Whoa. Can you not do it in the air? Oh, you can't do it in the air. I thought you could. Oops. But yeah, high jump's fun. High jump's one you don't see very often. There's also sleep. This guy right here. I'm not going to get it, obviously. Uh, there we go. Sleep just basically puts you to sleep. Yeah, secret. Oh, it's just for a pep. <laughs> Not a big deal. Yeah, high jump is, is an interesting one, basically, like that. Whee! Uh, this is a boss. It's actually Krakow. It's a fun way to, to fight that boss. Another one you never see again, I think, is Ball. I don't think you ever see Ball in any other. I mean, if you really... There's high jump over there. I think you can technically... Like, b Ball's technically in, like, Kirby's Pinball, Kirby's Block Ball, Dream Course. Like, those are technically Ball abilities because you're a ball the whole time, but whatever. This is Fireball. And this is, uh, Fireball. So it's called Flaming in other games, but whatever, it's Fireball. In the Kirby Superstar style games, it's Fire, and then if you dash and use Fire, you use Fireball. Again, love that, that picture, it's so good. Oh, dang! Oh, dang! Thank you. Eh. Eh. There we go. <laughs> oh, high jump. Yeah, that's a good high jump. I switch around a lot of abilities in this game. There's... Um, I get to a point with Kirby games where there's very specific abilities I want for each part of each level, and I get really used to going through the levels with that. I always say that the moon is a door. I don't know if it is here. No, it's not here. There is a level in this game, though, where the moon is a door, though, so always keep that in mind. You kill this thing, you kill the, the maximum tomato. You do not kill the Poppy Brothers. It's so annoying. You have to actually suck up the Poppy Brother off of the, um, uh, off of the uh, maximum tomato. You heard me. You have to suck the Poppy Brothers Jr. off. That's right. Boy, Kirby. You... <laughs> it's a lot of double entendres with uh, the Kirby games. And we're at the second level boss. Woo! Also, each world has now this uh, warp star thing. That's if you need to get to a specific world really quickly. But, I mean, there's only two worlds right now, so not a big deal. Uh, this guy... I forget his name. It's like the animator or the cartoonist or whatever. Um, he kind of comes back in uh, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Except it's a magician instead. And it's a great idea, because I love this boss. 
You get some really cool things here. He comes back in... I think it's paint. You can get paint in one of the versions of this game. I'm not sure anymore. Shit, shit, that was stupid of me. High jump is not a good one for this guy, by the way, as you can tell. Because you need to get really close to him. There's ball. Which I could have gotten. Oh, shit. Um... Oh, crash. Ah, damn it. No, damn it. No! Oh, I'm so bad at this. Oh, shit. No, no, no. Frig. Oh, well. Whatever. First death. At least it's a boss. <laughs> An easy boss, but a boss nonetheless. Um, in every Kirby game, by the way, because you're not always going to have the power, you have to be able to um, uh, shoot things back at the boss. And then you, of course, can do that against this guy. Shoot his drawings. To be honest, if he just ran around forever, then he'd win. So... But I do like how sometimes he, he takes a while to, to get going. Sometimes he's very fast, and you have to be very careful with the way uh, the way you fight him. But this is the easy way to do it. Just throw back his uh, portraits. Reminds me a little bit about uh, What's-Her-Face from um, Kirby 64. I forget her name. It's like Adeline or something like that. That Kirby doll does not give you power, by the way. This gives you Crash. Time to take him out. Bam! ba 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 yeah, I don't know how much Crash does, actually, to be really honest, but, I mean, you only get one use, so it, it's like, hey, go in there with the Crash, and then you can take out the boss under normal circumstances, so, really not that hard. Ah, Butter Building. I love this music. Takes a while to get going, but I like it. Poor Kirby. And listen to this. It's just cute. I like this level a lot. Uh, so this whole world map is very vertical because it is Butter Building, and it leads to the sky, and I love that. I also love this. Just that castle looks really cool. See, because to me it looks more like a mansion. I mean, it's, it's obviously the Butter Building. It's the tower we're in. Uh, this whole world is based on a tower. And um, I find a lot of Kirby games don't do that, where they have a world and the levels reflect that, I guess. Other than just the theming. You know what I mean? But this is like, you feel like you're traveling through... Uh, a tower. Up a tower. You know what I mean? There's a lot of little rooms. It's very indoor. Uh, this looks like fire and ice for the NES. I always thought that. Let's get some stone power, rock power. Yeah, it's stone in this game. I think it's rock in every other game, though. Um, but I like that. It also reminds me of level 5 from uh, Kirby the Amazing Mirror, which is shit. Thank you. Um, it, it's Carrot Castle. And it reminds me of, like, the mansion. Or, like, the uh, big palace in, uh, in, um... Great cave offensive. I like that stuff. Get some fireball here. Nope. Stick with stone, I guess. No worries. Oops. Gonna get laser. No, I actually think laser is not what I need here. Oh, whatever. Let's see what I can do. Go down here. This is the first level that is it has a secret thing. Oh, you can just do that. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so this one's very obvious. Obviously. Obvious. Obvious. Obviously. Just go there. Hit this thing. You'll transport where that big button is. Hit the button. Now we have a secret little thing. Coliseum. And now we're gonna get a lot of these. A good, like, almost half of every level from now on is gonna have one of these, so. We're gonna get 100%, so figured, why not? Shit, what am I doing? What am I doing with myself? What was I talking about? <laughs> oh, yeah, that, so, yeah, Kui the Amazing Mirror has, like, a level that's, like, like, this, this kind of mansion. Uh, I like because a lot of it's outside, it's very forced. I always called that Canada. <laughs> this level Canada. And then the Kara Castle is like the Prime Minister's house because I'm weird. That's how I think. Uh, let's go into this arena. Let's see what's in here. We got loud cars outside. I wonder what they're doing. Oh, wheel. I don't need wheel, obviously. But you know what? I'm going to take it. I like wheel better than I like laser. Laser's not powerful, as you can see. I'm like not... I'm barely doing damage to this guy. Like, one one thing of him. Or one thing... Of, like, that wouldn't even do any, any damage. So, I don't know how much exact damage it does, but it's not a lot. And, I, and plus, I miss a lot because I'm stupid. Boo, there we go. Thank you. Some wheel. Oh, yeah, if you pause by the way, it'll say, like, Kirby turns into a wheel and can move at super speed. But watch for obstacles and excess speed. <laughs> Kirby can do speed. Don't do speed, though. <laughs> That's what it's like. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess if you're talking about the drug, yes. Kids, don't do speed. Is that a thing anymore? Do people do speed? I'm so not into the drugs. <laughs> I'm such like a, I'm so a straight and narrow boy. I'm a good boy. Um, so I don't know, like, is speed still a thing that a lot of people do? Like, I know, I know cocaine's a problem. 
opioids the problem. Oh, but I don't know if much about speed. Okay, so here's one of the things I was talking about in terms of graphics. Look at this. That's gorgeous. Like, you don't get a lot of these types of things, but, like, that's so well done. Like, this faux 3D. Also, be very careful here, because you will fall off. I almost did. <laughs> uh, but that's really interesting. What a great... What a great, like, effect. They're really loud outside. I hope you guys can't hear them. Let's get some... Ah, oh, damn. I was kind of hoping to get a... Shit, I don't know if I can now. I wanted to get a mix. No, I can't, because I already killed the thing. But I can do this. Oh, yeah! We... <laughs> I can't believe it, we got wheel! <laughs> that worked out really well for me, I guess. Oh, whatever. Oh, damn. I can't get that. But I can if I get sword. I'll get sword. And there'll be a secret over here. And by the way, I'm already playing this up for a joke because the magical ability in here is it's wheel! <laughs> I knew, I already knew that was gonna happen, so. Oh shit, I'm bad at everything. No! <laughs> God. Wheel's actually really good for this upcoming room, the room I was just in, so we're definitely gonna get it. You're so slow. Wanna just fall out and poop out a wheel for me? Thank you. Okay. Great room for wheel. When you die, you lose your power, obviously, so try not to die. Because, like, wheel's fun to use. And bam! Bop, bop, bip, bip, pop, bam! Wow! Wow! Be a Knievel all open here! Except I also sound like Sylvester Stallone, I don't know. Watch out for ice. This is ice. Actually, you know what? Let's get ice. I might die from this, to be honest. Oh, good. Okay. This is ice. I love that picture. It's adorable. I'm just gonna do this. Thank you. Um, like I've said before, I love the look of um, white and blue Kirby. But yeah, ice is basically fire, except better because you have projectiles afterwards. Um, freeze is probably the better one, though. Um, maybe. I guess it depends. This is definitely more aggressive, while uh, freeze is definitely more defensive. But we're gonna get this power afterwards anyway. I can't believe I missed. All right, he missed me there. And there we go. This is backdrop. Such a great picture. Ooh, yeah, brother, I'm Kirby. I <laughs> just love that. And a boing. What does that do? Ah, I didn't get it. One level, one more 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 level. We got one time for one more level. Okay, so uh, backdrop is basically suplex, except much more simplistic. You don't zoom ahead, you just kind of suck up. You'll see what I mean. There we go. If you're in the air, you'll automatically do that, that throw. Um, if you are there, you can go up, down, left, and right, like you can the other ones. That's, that's the only real difference. There's not a big difference between it. You can go back. I can go up. Like, you can go forward. It's cool. There's nothing crazy. Like, I don't think you can do the crazy jump, can you? Actually, I think you might be able to. Let's see. Woo! Yeah, I guess you can. Woo! Um, that's pretty powerful. If you can get, like, a boss. Like, you get one of the boss's projectiles and then smack them. Like, you're invincible while you do the throw. Not while you're holding them, but once you start the throw animation, you're, you're good. So, like, here, I'm still, like, able to get hurt. Oh, no! I guess I'm invincible. Oh, if you don't do anything, you'll just toss them. Uh, I had no idea. I thought straight up you you wouldn't be able to do that. But yeah, if you if you're able to hit a boss with like a throw, it's very powerful. So keep that in mind, I guess. There's not very bosses we're gonna uh, yeah, not very many bosses you're gonna have the opportunity to use backdrop against them. And to be honest, throw is probably the better one because it's a projectile instead of yourself. So whatever. Still, it's one of my favorite powers. So like I was saying, I mean, like, look at this. Doesn't this look like an awesome tower to be climbing? Also, if you've played the game Fire and Ice, I'm going to go ahead and assume most of my viewers are not going to know the game I'm talking about. If anyone knows what I'm talking about when I say Fire and Ice to the NES, I'm going to assume it's Squall Le a a Lionheart, Le no, Squall Highwind, Squall Lionheart. That's the character's name. Squall Highwind, I think if anyone here knows what Fire and Ice is, it's going to be you. You always seem like a pretty knowledgeable guy. Basically, it is a sequel to Solomon's Key, but it's very different from Solomon's Key. It's also a very expensive NES game. Anyways, that's all for today. I'm Phil the Blanks. I'll see you guys next time for more Let's Play Kirby's Adventure. Take care, guys.